So our aim is always to get a method that is fit for purpose and uh, to deliver that at the end to our customers uh, and that so that everyone is happy and the method is running. And of course, we have to do that uh, in a way that we consider the method can be validated in a GMP environment, can be transferred to other sites or other facilities. So the development part uh, is a very important part in which it's where you need to make sure that your method works and that you can rely on the data that is generated by your method. And other regulators started also to talk about this and to implement the life cycle management concept that embedded analytical quality by design. Going through the process of that uh, brought us to where we are today and uh, uh, we developed a process of our own, our own methodology of how to achieve quality by design methods. When you integrate life cycle management concepts, you need to understand all the steps, of course, uh, and you need to, to, to see that you need to have processes and you need to have tools and you need to probably to have softwares to help you. Tools like design of experiments, tools such as risk assessment, and this uh, kind of uh, develops a way that you can have your own path and you understand where you started and where you will end. And of course, at the end, having this design space set up for you in a way that you are understanding how your method works in a space, then you can really control the sources of variability and put the necessary controls so that you have a, uh, a control strategy that will uh, help you to run the method in a robust way in the productive environment. So that's, that's the goal. It's the way that the method will behave in time and the confidence that you have that that method will be a good fit for everything that you do in the future and that it will capture any problems in the future um, of, of that medicine. Uh, reducing the risk for the, the product itself and also reducing the need to come back and to relook at the method. Typically, the customers would find value for this they see the value of it, and especially if the, the project goes through and starts a phase three approach and a validation, they really find value on it, and they, they really are interested in, in following this type of methodology. So when you look at particularly chromatography area, uh, you, one of the things you need to be aware of in a life cycle management is that how long you're going to run this process in your labs. So you need to be sure that uh, you get the right columns, the right vials, the right components, that they will be typically the same throughout uh, sometimes years of analysis that you're going to run. So you need to believe that the pro products that you have are consistent and they are robust uh, as well because they are part of your life cycle method uh, assessment. I think that the fact that uh, Q12 appears or that any regulations on how to do uh, development of methods will lead uh, the way to change the process of developing methods but it's not on the regulator's side to, to decide that we would should do a different approach. It's on the company's side to work better, to give a more scientific approach to things and to make sure that we are delivering the best for the product. Um, and then regulators will follow. <laughs>